thoughts uh, here on, on the spring game today and obviously beautiful weather conditions? Yeah, it's a great, great game. Again, uh, I don't know how we always have these like down to the wire games, but uh, they're always close and um, they always seem to be fun. So, you know, priority, priority number one for, for me is to have fun, um, you know, celebrate football. I say that every year, but celebrate the opportunity to be out there and having fans here and those kind of things. So that's cool. Sun and weather finally cooperated, which is awesome. And then I thought the play was good. You know, I thought uh, we played a lot of guys, and I thought for the most part we were solid. Um, had some, uh, you know, good plays on both sides of the ball. And then, you know, obviously to honor uh, Dave Lucy, you know, a guy that's meant so much to Ferris State Athletics, and, and then to honor the basketball team at halftime were really cool initiatives, and uh, I was really pleased that that went over well. You uh, mentioned the close game. Uh, talk about the format, offense versus defense, a little different than maybe uh, you've used in the past couple of years. Yeah, we're nervous about, uh, you know, dividing teams equally, which we have. We just basically, that's what we've done is draft. But then we're nervous that, you know, there would be too many reps for some guys. So this way we could kind of control, you know, who is playing. Um, so offense, uh, play defense. And, and I don't know, you know, I heard the announcer saying something that it may have not been fair completely, but uh, I tell my guys, nobody wants to see defense win in a, in a, uh, in a spring game. So, um, and I'm the head coach, so they listen to me and I'm also probably more active with offense. So, you know, we had to make sure that the offense pulled it off. Uh, obviously a long spring here and an extra week uh, with the, with the cancellation uh, just talk about how the springs went and, and having to battle the weather yeah that was that was a little difficult because we we you know we we had two practices left and uh, you know it's hard yesterday we probably had our worst practice yesterday because our mentality was probably we're almost done you know and and uh, when I suggested uh, to our guys that we might be granted a waiver um, Last weekend, um, you know, they, they didn't they didn't respond very favorably because, like, mentally we're, we're ready for this to be done, which I understand that. So uh, I give our guys credit. Um, they were challenged mentally, um, had to come back and extend uh, spring ball. But uh, I thought they looked great today. And our spirit and energy has been awesome, um, you know, throughout the spring. And that's all you can ask. You know, you're just looking for guys that – you know, just want to be out here and, and work to be better. And so I'm pleased by that. Um, I think we've got, you know, a lot of young talent and a lot of guys that uh, have a opportunity to have a great season. You mentioned a chance to honor the men's basketball team. Uh, just talk about what that meant for your guys. Well, you know, I, I, I've said this several times now. It, it's first off great to be able to honor them. But beyond that, um, you know, it's kind of a little bit selfish reasons too. You know, I think that – the more um, young people see how something can be done, the more they're apt to do it. And so I use that a little bit as, uh, you know, a way for our guys to kind of, you know, use, use, well, you know, how did they do that? You know, um, they played 11 guys. There's never any crying, you know. I never saw body language like, you know, why is Bronx taking me out? I saw two Division One transfers not start, okay? One plays football, who is Mr. Basketball, who never had negative body language like I should be playing more. So, you know, I mean, it's pretty simple how you, you win a national championship there. You know, they had great team chemistry and, and uh, a bunch of unselfish guys that, you know, were determined to be at their best. And so I use that as, you know, a really a good way for us to, you know, put the right face on and not let anybody be a force of negativity to, to let us down a little bit. So that's, that's, that's been our approach. Uh, expectations after watching your players today for this fall? Um, for the fall? Okay. Well, I don't think that way. So my expectation is to, to look forward and the, um, you know, look a little bit about, um, you know what the temperature is going to be and maybe get to the golf course here in the next week or so but uh we always have high expectations you know our our, our thought process is we want to be the best and um so our expectation is to to pursue the very best that's in us individually throughout the off season here in the summer you know rally together um 
you know, with, with a great team spirit, work hard in the summer, try to grow individually and as a team, and then uh, roll in in August and, you know, put, put, it, put it all together. And, and uh, you know, our, our goals never change. You know, we want to, you know, there's three goals we'll have and we'll always have. One is to win a GLIAC championship, two is to go undefeated, and three is to win a national championship. And those are our three goals every year. Um, We've fallen short uh, to win the, the national championship, um, you know, but, but we're knocking on the door. And so that's, you know, we're just going to continue with the, you know, the same methods to try to get us to that point and hopefully get over the hump someday. Uh, it felt good. Uh, we've been working on it all uh, spring. Uh, Should have got to play before that, but I had tripped up, so we went back to it and uh, went up and made a good play. <laughs> Obviously, uh, spring here uh, with uh, a lot of guys returning on the offensive side of the football. How, how was the spring went uh, here overall? It went good. Uh, I feel like we competed a lot, and I feel like a lot of uh, young fellas uh, stepped up and proved themselves. Um, but all in all, I think we did really good on offense and on defense as well. For you coming in uh, here this year, obviously uh, had a chance to come in last fall and, and play a lot. Uh, what's it like uh, having having a spring here, I guess, and, and coming back for your second year? Oh, it feels real good. Uh, like you said, coming in the fall, um, I wasn't really able to come in and practice, you know, through the plays and stuff. But uh, coming through the spring and being able to um, practice through the uh, offense and stuff like that it really, really helped out get that year under my belt and stuff like that. So, yeah. Talk about the the spring. Obviously, you had to battle some tough weather conditions. Uh, fortunately, a, a nice day out here today. Oh, yeah. It was real bad last week. So uh, we pushed it back to this week. It was great weather for this uh, nice little crowd that came out. So uh, all in all, I think it was a great spring, great spring game, too. What was it like uh, to have a chance to honor the men's basketball team winning the national championship? Uh, that's, that's, that's awesome, man, being able to um, do that and the expectations that we have for ourselves to go out and win it, man. It's, it's awesome. It's awesome. Talk about your expectations, your goals for this coming upcoming fall. Oh, our goal is to win a championship. Definitely to bring a championship back to Big Rapids. That's the ultimate goal. Got it. Got the spring game underway. How did it feel to be out there going against the live action? I guess. Uh, feels great. You know, it's been a long time since we've had some real live football action in, a, in the spring. It's just a lot of thud and team periods, but to be able to go out there and real game type feel it gets us really excited for the fall. Now at spring practice is wrapping up and everything, kind of what's the attitude, the mentality of the team as you uh, head into workouts in the fall? Um, well, just right now, I'm just super proud of our guys for getting through the spring. Uh, pretty bad weather. It was rough, but we didn't make any excuses. We were really able to come out and get a lot better. And so now that you know we have that experience and all that time work together in the spring, we're going to hit the ground running and, and really train really hard this summer to, to be prepared to be the best team that we can be in the fall. And how about the competition at quarterback? Coach Denise said you three have been pretty much 33% of all the snaps through spring. Uh, how does that feel and how is that kind of motivating you? No, it's great. If you look at any uh, top program in college football, competition breeds success. Uh, no, none of us have any room for complacency. Uh, if we we got to keep our foot on the gas pedal, a full throttle down because the guy behind you is ready to take your spot. So we've pushed each other really hard, made each other better, and you know the best guy is going to get the spot. And uh, you guys celebrated the basketball team. Seeing what they were able to do this year, how much does that kind of just juice up the entire department? Yeah, it's inspiring. Uh, we're really motivated uh, just to see the success they had and to see that at Fair State they were able to do something like that of that magnitude. And just we know a lot of those guys, good friends with them. Even a lot of us grew up with them in the same area. So it's really uh, given us the opportunity to think, like, yeah, yeah, we can do this too. You talked about split of time at quarterback, you're proof positive from last year. Uh, it's important to, to have depth at that position. Uh, what do you see from the guys uh, in the room with you? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can take it from me firsthand. Every quarterback is one play away. So no matter uh, where you are on the depth chart, you got to be ready to go. And I think that's the key about pushing each other is whether you're two or three, you got to prepare like you're number one. Uh, because at any moment in time, uh, this team's going to need to count on you. And so when they call your number, you got to be ready to perform. Was there anybody in particular you worked with this spring that really impressed you that you're looking forward to, to getting back in, into camp and, and working with? The uh, a lot of guys like are great playmakers. Uh, so many guys uh, on the outside that have, have been great for us in the past. I mean, one guy that's been great since I've been here is Malik Taylor. And to have a target like him, it was incredible. So really excited about every guy. Uh, really to throw the ball to Dion, Fuse, Keandre. Oh. And 
and then what did you see from the defense today? They, they did make some, some big plays. Uh, exciting to see that uh, from those guys? Yeah, absolutely. I want to see the defense be absolutely successful every time except when I'm in. You know, uh, They're a great group of guys, a lot of new faces, and, and they're eager to play. They're eager to prove themselves. Um, I think the rep that our defense isn't going to be as good kind of aggravates them a little bit. So, so they're fiery and they're ready to prove that they're going to be just as good, if not better. Yeah, it seemed like they really were kind of going after you in a couple of spots there. Was there any kind of talk back and forth? Were they were they really kind of going after you? Oh yeah, it's friendly chatter, just very competitive. Uh, I respect every every guy on that team, every guy I go up against, and they feel the same way about me. And uh, when, when you're in between the lines, there's a little bit of an alter ego. You're you're ready to destroy whoever's on the other side of the ball. But you know, off the field, I respect everyone. I'm there, my brothers, and some of my best friends. I think on the offensive side, we did real good. Um, like I said, well, last week. It was supposed to be a spring game, but you know, the weather was bad, so we had to cancel it. So I think we did good as far as not being, having consistent practices and having to reschedule the spring game and, you know, and take all that into consideration. So I think we did good with all that. Obviously, uh, your your first spring here, uh, just talk about the adjustment uh, here to, to playing quarterback at Ferris State and, and how that's went this spring. I'm back in the hurry up offense. Uh, I did that in high school. And during college, we was more pro style, so I had to get back to learning new signals. And you know, what the signals mean, we have a lot of them. Uh, I mean, learning a whole new personnel. You know, I'm playing with a bunch of new guys. Last year and fall, I you know red shirted, so I didn't really get a chance to, you know, learn what guys could do what and who was, you know, about what. And so, I feel like personnel is probably the biggest thing. As far as what I had to learn this spring and plays. Yeah, in terms of some of that personnel, obviously guys like Malik Taylor, uh, Keandre Craig, Robert Thomas. Uh, what's it like having those guys around you? Make it a lot easier. Uh, Deion Earl being another one, Demonte Harrison. A lot of those guys, if you just give them the ball, you know, they make make your stat sheet go way up. So they make it a lot easier. And now, especially for you personally, having a year off and now being back at it, you're getting closer and closer to real life games. I mean, how this spring going through, how are you feeling as it gets closer to fall? Feeling confident. Uh, we got an experienced O-line. Um, so I feel like the offense, we have to do majority of the, have majority of the leadership. You know, the defense, we lost 10 starters. So I feel like the offense uh, had to pick it up a lot more. And you know, I'm just ready to roll, to be honest. And then uh, the quarterback competition, Coach Anise said it's pretty much been split three ways the entire spring ball, kind of how you feeling, where you're standing, and how you like that competition. I mean, I like the competition. Uh, I'm just let that play out in the fall, mm-hmm. you know. And uh, you kind of said you're back in a hurry-up offense. Coach, uh, here at Ferris, they've had a lo- good success with running quarterbacks, obviously. Yeah. Um, how excited are you to be back in that and how, you know, kind of fits you? Uh, just looking forward to gaining about 15 pounds before the season start, <laughs> you know. But, I mean, I feel like the offense worked, so let's roll, you know what I'm saying? If I got to carry the ball 30 times a game, let's get to it. And uh, the defense has a lot of turnover, but uh, like they've been saying, it, they seem pretty hungry today. Do you kind of see that? where Because there's got to be a lot of competition, a lot of open spots. I saw the defense working every day in practice. You know, there's, there's a lot of guys on the defensive side when as far as extra work and going on the field individually or going in the weight room when it's not scheduled. Most of those guys that I go with is probably on the defensive side. So defense is real hungry. We lost 10 starters, but I don't really think that will mean a lot just because we got guys that's that's ready to play and that want to play and want to win and want to work. So I feel like we'll be okay. What was it that you kind of wanted to show off through through spring practice and in, in, in the game here today? What were you kind of trying to put in front of the coaches, make the decision tough for them? I mean, this was just the, the ending of it. They saw – you know, what I do every day in practice from the get-go. So I wasn't really too much concerned about showing something off this spring game or, you know, today particularly. Uh, this was just, like I said, this was just like something to have fun with and, you know. You talked about your ability to run. I saw the one run kind of in the, I think, the second quarter there where you're kind of bouncing off defenders, carrying some of them with you. Is that mm-hmm. kind of your style, what you're looking to do? You're not afraid of contact? I mean, no, not at all. I mean, you know, quarterbacks never really live. We don't really get here in practice. So today was kind of fun just to get the feel back. You know, I, like, like I said, last year I redshirted. I didn't really have no 
participation in as far as football. So it felt real good to, you know, get hit a little bit and, you know, know that I can miss break a tackle and, you know, make the play keep going. And then being with the guys back in the fall and then in the spring here, what have you kind of picked up about the, the culture here at Ferris and kind of what the expectations are for, for this program? At Ferris, I feel like sports is number one. Well, not number one thing, but it's something that's that everybody takes serious and everybody like, you know, this is my first spring game ever. You know, like I said, I come from junior college. I did two years of junior college. But to see a crowd like that to come out here and, you know, watch us just have a, a spring game, that was kind of cool. So I feel like at Ferris, it, hey, we got a lot of uh, support, a lot of people cheering for us. You know, I'm looking forward to fall.